What's up guys and this is gonna be a quick video on the LG 22 MP48HQP 22 inch IPS LED monitor I really wish companies would just stick to 3 to 4 letter codes or simple names for their products like maybe the LG budget 22 inch monitor or maybe something like that. Now the main reason why I bought a new monitor is because my old monitor which was a random Fukuda 22 inch monitor stopped working. After you turn it on, it turns off immediately and the person I was expecting to fix it... Well, it's been a month and I'm not really hoping for anything and decided to buy a new and expensive one that's decent at most. And if you're asking what monitor or TV I've been using for the past month, it's a 1366 by 768 monitor or TV and just editing on Premiere and Photoshop on it was a nightmare. So yeah, moving on, I was able to buy this at Lazada for 6,430 pesos or about $130. And I would say this is a steal, so we have a 22-inch 1080p IPS LED 60Hz and 5 millisecond response time. So assembling it is pretty simple. So obviously here's how it looks outside. It has a glossy plastic finish on the bezels that are relatively thin. And at the back we have a non-glossy diamond pattern finish. And of course power in, HDMI, 3.5mm audio jack, and VGA. At the bottom right corner are the buttons and menu settings. Build quality is decent, but the only thing I will say though is that the stem or whatever you want to call it is flimsy which is understandable considering it is a budget monitor. Of course I wish they could have made the outside finish on the plastic a soft touch or matte finish so that it won't be a dust or fingerprint magnet. This doesn't have any built-in speakers by the way which kind of makes sense for the audio jack but that's usually connected to your PC anyway. It's not height adjustable but you can change the angle of the panel like this. And moving on to the panel itself, it's good. I mean, it is a budget monitor, so 1080p IPS LED, 60Hz, 5 millisecond response time, a peak brightness of 250 nits, which is a standard for regular computer monitors, and it gets reasonably bright. The quality of the panel is good also, so LG indicated that it covers 72% of the CIE 1976 color space, which in the Adobe RGB color space is about 60 to 65%, and about 80 plus percent in the sRGB color space. Now that's just an estimate again since LG used the CIE 1976 color space. So the panel has good color gamut and accuracy. And the panel itself is covered with sort of a matte anti-glare finish. Now for someone like me, I mean this is gonna do for now considering that I am in a budget and for people looking to upgrade to a decent panel, a 1080p or an IPS one, then this is as good as it gets for the price. Although I would probably color calibrate this if you're a professional such as a content creator and photographer. But I would assume that you would have a much larger budget than $130 for a color accurate panel since you are again a professional. And for gamers, I would assume that whoever buys this has a GTX 1060 or RX 580 and weaker card since again this only has a 60Hz panel. Well maybe unless you decided to put all your money on a 1080 Ti and didn't realize you only had $200 left on your budget for peripherals. So I'm currently running on a 1050 Ti and gaming and video editing on this has been a pleasure and definitely a significant improvement over my last monitor. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this short video on the LG 22MP4HQ. P. Although I can't be sure that this is the best budget 1080p IPS panel right now but this is definitely a steal and it's worth it. If you guys want to check this out, I'll leave the link in the description of this video. So leave a like, share, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. As always, bookmark and use my Lazada affiliate link when buying at Lazada as a way to support my channel. Don't worry as it won't have any additional charges to your purchase. It just gives me a small kickback every time you use my link when buying at Lazada. And if you don't mind donating at all i'll also leave the link to my patreon in the description of this video so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one